Now we're going to move to County Commission Race District 6. And uh, first we're going to hear from the incumbent, Tim Goins. First of all, I'd like to say thank you, Mike. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Chamber, for letting us have this forum this evening. All right, the most uh, pressing issue uh, facing this county today is the jail. There have been many solutions offered up and what to do about the overcrowding problem. Unfortunately, all the experts tell us that if we build a thousand bed unit today, we won't be wrong, it would be filled, filled up to capacity. At this point, I'm still open for consideration any options currently on the table or any options that may come. But we have to have a smart solution. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't reward architects who are looking to inflate the cost of the building, building a facility so they can pad their profit margin. In the schools, Recruiting young talent to move into Hamlet County can be a challenge, but it seems we still have a large number of young people who grow up here more and move elsewhere when they come, when they come of age simply because they perceive there's a greater opportunity in other cities. Hamlet County, with its existing leadership, has done a good job making sure that some opportunities are brought in our brought in for our young professionals. And that is why I am seeking another term. I want to continue to contribute to the team that has brought Hamlet County forward over these few year, past few years. Now is not a good time to shift the ideological makeup of the commission of bringing in Democrats to slow our progression. Our local school system has done a good job for helping prepare graduates for local workforce. But I also want to brag on my son. Tillman, and the job the state has done with the technical school. By remaining, uh, renaming it the Tennessee College of Applied Technology, it makes a, uh, it makes a technical route seem a, a lot more professional and desirable for students. There is always going to be a new expansion. There's also going to be a new expansion in technical, of the technical school that will add a lot of training opportunities will help, that will help fill the technical jobs. My son and a team of other people, even others in this room, have worked hard to make sure expansions will happen. Like I said earlier, with the positive things happening in this community right now, it is not the time to start bringing in Democrats to stand in opposition of the progress being made right now. And I thank you for your support and the opportunity to do this. Thank you very much. Now, challenger in the District 6 area, Nicholas Knight. Thank you all for being here. I'd like to thank the Chamber for allowing us to uh, let the community hear what we would like to bring to the table. And thank you all again for coming out and taking the initiative to be here. I'm going to reiterate. Uh, what Christy said and try to tie this all together for you. You can't speak about the three questions that we were asked without talking about education. Fully funding our education has got to be the first priority that the County Commission takes in. If you look over the past eight, ten years, you can see a trend that has been going on. Our, our school systems have been underfunded. If you look at the state average, just in the last two years, looking at a number from 1617, we were $1,139.40 below the state average in expenditure per pupil. If you do the math on that, we were $11.9 million under funding just to be on the average in the state of Tennessee. Addressing the issue of attracting our people or younger talent to this area, again, to a new family, that is looking to make a home for their staff. The first area they look at is our education system. And if we're underperforming, they may choose to go somewhere else. Along with the jobs, technical training, that is great.
but if we fully fund our educational system, what can we use that extra money for? What extra programs can we give to those students to get them educated in the fields that we're lacking? Working in the automotive industry, I'm currently the parts manager for Morristown Hyundai. I've been doing the parts business for about nine years now. Finding people that have the skills and the knowledge and understanding of today's cars and the technology is dwindling down. Looking in the field that I'm in, there's few, few people that will carry that on to the future. We've got to start educating our people, and if we've got to start educating them yesterday, not tomorrow, we need to start putting that as the forefront. went off topic here, sorry. Uh, once we put those initiatives back into our schools and we do give those students that opportunity, we'll have a thriving, growing education system. We'll have a growing, thriving city to live in, the county to live in. People will look to us for the future. Something to be proud of of our, our county. We're the third smallest county by landmass, but we're in the top 30 in wealth. It's time we start putting that wealth to use for our education and our children and tomorrow. Thank you.